up guys? Today we got a cool one. I've been wanting to try one of these out for a while and Big Jeff was cool enough to send me one to test. This is the brand new just released Big Jeff Audio 22 amp hour lithium car audio battery. So this thing's pretty cool. It's super small and compact. It's very light. I'll show you guys measurements here in a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it but we're also going to throw it on a load tester and see what it does and compare it to a big AGM battery to see how much more you actually get out of this little battery. So stay tuned. All right, first off, man, I want to say this thing is tiny. It's tiny and it only probably weighs a couple pounds, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the dimensions. So it has two terminals on the top, a positive and a negative, and they do provide the screws there for you to use for your power connections. The housing is plastic, and we're at seven and a quarter length. By three and a half width, by six and a quarter or so tall. So this thing is very compact. They give you half circle um, mounting holes. They're actually holes, but what you would do is put your uh, nuts or screws with washers right there, and that would secure it down if you guys have an ant board or whatever you want to secure it to. So that's cool. And these look like they're gold-plated terminals on the top. Then you just have your Big Jeff logo and sticker on each side. So this says it is a lithium iron phosphate 22 amp hour. And it has a built-in cell balancer, which is nice. So no need to worry about that. And it says it's good for 4,000 to 6,000 watts. And I'm sure some of that is depending on your car audio electrical, what you have in there. Um, so first thing you want to do when you buy any lithium like this is you want to slow charge it. And the reason why is they don't come fully charged by law. And with the balancers inside, you always want to charge these with a the proper charger. I'll put a cheap one that I use on Amazon in the link below if you guys are interested, but you can look at some other ones, XS makes them, um, and so on and so forth. But you want to charge them on a low amperage, so that way the balancer can do its job and distribute the electricity to all the cells evenly and balance the cells. But once it's initially charged, you don't have to do that again unless it goes dead, like if you left your you know, power on for a certain amount of time and it went completely dead. The main thing to know is you want these charged before you apply your automobile voltage so it doesn't just be dead and then get a sudden jolt, you know, of let's say you have a 200 amp alternator. But once they're charged, your car will do the rest. You can just hook it up and your alternator will take care of the charging. Another thing to note on these. These have a higher resting voltage, all lithiums, than an AGM or a lead acid. Typically, depending on the lithium, they might be 13.5 to 14.2 volts resting voltage. So you really want to run a battery isolator, and I'll put one of those in the link in the description below too. They're really easy to wire up. Um, all you need is like a, you can even use your remote turn on wire for your amp most of the time, and then you just put it in between your power cable. What that does is when you turn your key off and that 12 volt remote signal goes off, it separates the lithium from the main battery. Reason being an AGM or a lead acid only have about 12.6 to maybe 12.9 resting voltage. So a lithium having a higher resting voltage, if you shut your car off and they're both connected while you can do it, the lithium is going to basically be charging the AGM or the lead acid until the voltage equalizes. So what it's going to do is it's going to be dropping the voltage on your lithium trying to charge your AGM or your lead acid battery. So isolators are a good good thing to put on. They're not that expensive. They're about 50 bucks for a good 500 amp isolator. 
So this thing is super small. I mean, you could fit this thing anywhere. But let's go ahead and get it hooked up and test what it puts out. And also we're gonna compare it to, I have here a brand new Die Hard. This is a large full-size truck AGM battery. And these actually do pretty good for AGMs. I had an XS D3400 and this did almost the same as that as far as the amperage it would provide and put out. So this is a good tester of the difference between an AGM automotive battery and this little tiny lithium. So we'll see what they can do. So let's go ahead and get it hooked up and test these things out. All right, so first we're gonna test the Big Jeff Audio 22 amp hour lithium. And with car audio, most of the time you wanna hold a minimum of 12 volts. So we're gonna start with how many amperes it can put out while holding 12 volts. And then we'll also do down to 10 volts after we recharge the batteries after the tests because AGMs are rated at holding voltage at about 10 volts because they have a lower resting voltage, so the voltage is gonna drop quicker. So an AGM with like a resting voltage of 13.5 or 13.6, it's got a lot more go to go before it reaches down to 12 volts, but AGMs are like 12.6, 12.9, so they don't have to drop much below 12. So we're gonna do 12, because that's what everybody really wants, and then just for the AGM, we'll go down to 10 volts, because that is like the bare minimum that you want and with car audio you really don't want to go below 11 really but we're going to go ahead and do the, the 12 volt and then the 10 volt test so let's go ahead and get started okay so both batteries are charged fully and the re this is the resting voltage after charging a few minutes ago so this is the AGM resting voltage That's after being charged. Now this is the Big Jeff resting voltage after being charged. So you can see the lithiums have a higher resting voltage so it gives them more room before they drop down to like 12 or 10 volts. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the test. We'll start with the Die Hard first. Okay, we're gonna do the 12 volt test on the Die Hard AGM. All right, so we got about 50 amps off the Die Hard AGM holding 12 volts. Let's go ahead and do the uh, Big Jeff Lithium now. All right, now here's the Big Jeff Lithium. We're gonna try 12 volts, and I'll put a chart at the end with all the results so we can compare after we're done with the test. So we got about 125 amps, I believe, off the Big Jeff Lithium. All right, so now here is the Die Hard AGM, and we're taking it down to 10 volts. So at 10 volts, it got 200, 375 amps at 10 volts. And that's kind of where AGMs get it. They don't do good at 12 volts, but they do pretty good down to 10, but no car audio guy wants to drop to 10, so. All right, let's continue. All right, Big Jeff Audio Lithium 10 volt test. All right, 475 amps. So it did did quite a lit, lot more than the AGM. And notice it's already back up at 13 volts. The lithiums just recover faster and they take a charge faster. That's the other benefit of a lithium over an AGM. All right, now let's check the resting voltage after that. 10 volt test. This is the AGM resting voltage. 
after the test not being recharged. So we're at 12.7 and the big Jeff is 13.2. Keep in mind the big Jeff put out 100 more amps and it's still a higher resting voltage. Alright guys, well as you can see, lithiums are the way to go for car audio batteries. AGMs and lead acids, they just can't hold 12 volts very well or even 11 and a half. They really only start to do good when you get down to 10 volts and that's not where you want to be in car audio. So as heavy as these are, a good AGM is still, like this AGM was $250. The lithium, I think these are about 450 bucks and you can use the high five vector coupon code to save even a few bucks more. So you're spending a little more, but you're getting something that's so small, so easy to mount. It puts out over double at 12 volts. The AGM put out 50 at 12 volts. The big Jeff put out 125. So that's huge. And even at 10 volts where the AGMs do good, it, the AGM put out 370 and the Big Jeff put out 475. Yeah, boy. So that's a lot of power in a small space. Plus you get the faster recharge rate. If you shut your music off for just 10, 15 seconds, you're going to get a lot of charge back into this battery. Whereas if an AGM or a lead acid they charge so slow it would take a minute or maybe a minute and a half to get it to charge up because they just charge slower so lithiums win in every way this is a real nice little battery um super compact the one thing i'll note about this guys is during testing and during charging this big jeff battery did not get warm whatsoever I have tested some other small lithium iron phosphate batteries and they have gotten hot just at charging at 14.4 volts, which is kind of concerning, but this one did not. So obviously this one has the right cell voltage and everything to work, you know, in an automotive application without being overcharged. Now remember, some guys say you don't need an isolator but you really should use an isolator. They're only like 50 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below. They're real easy to hook up, super simple. That way when you shut your key off, your lithium gets disconnected from your starter battery and it's just isolated, it's separate. But these are definitely the way to go. Keep in mind too, this is a great little battery, but you need, depending on how much power you're trying to squeeze out, this will add a lot just if you just add it to your stock system. But if you're pumping out a lot of power, you're going to need an alternator because this is great. Lithiums are great, but they need to be charged as well. So you got to have an alternator if you're if you're pushing out like, you know, 4000 watts or above or even 3000 watts. It all depends on your your car and what alternator it has. But keep that in mind. But overall, that's a killer little battery. Nice job on that. I'm really happy that it did not get hot when charging or testing so i think these are going to be a real good battery and i think you guys are going to like them but you can check these out at bigjeffaudio.com i'll put a link for this the isolator and an inexpensive charger in the description below and if you guys like this content please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it and thanks so much